Ugh, oh, I suck at this. What? Oh. Hey. I didn't see you there. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, how do you do it? How do you swing so good? And I usually just say nothing because I'm lazy. But a lot of people seem to, you know, want a little guide on how to how to swing like Spooderman. So, that's what I'm going to be giving y'all today. So the very first thing you want to do is flip up your hand and make sure that this is off. Because the little spidey symbols right here are ugly. That's for step number one. If you keep them on, you're going to be bad. Okay, so the main thing people you know, have trouble with when they start playing this world is, you know, how do I get started, you know? How do I actually start swinging? Because this game is very much based on momentum. It's not just you can shoot a web and you'll start flying, you know? It's like, it doesn't work like that. You gotta, you gotta make sure that you're using your momentum the right way as to not kill it. So, how I start swinging is I usually jump, wait for myself to come down, shoot a web, pull downwards every time shoot a web pull downwards pull downwards obviously that was a little whack but that's how I get started you don't want to be doing stuff like this right that does nothing you're not you're not you know I see a lot of people who try to swing and they're shooting webs like this and it's just a mess you know it just doesn't really work so you have to wait until the web you shoot will actually generate force so if you're on the way down, shoot a web up, pull downwards, boom, you're flying. And now I'm on the wall. Another thing that you really want to make sure you do is to not shoot your webs too early. Like I said before, it's all about momentum. Like right here. Like I don't want to shoot it now, I want to shoot it right about now. Right about now. You know? This game doesn't hold your hand like other games, like the Far From Home experience, so you really gotta know how to generate your own power and keep it going. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go over everything one more time. So if you wanna get started, the best way to do it is to just jump and swing. Might be a little slow at first, but uh, that's how I do it. If you want to start swinging really fast from nothing, there's this little trick that I do, and it's called, uh, I don't know what to call it, but basically, you want to jump, and then on your way down, shoot two webs, pull yourself upward, pull yourself downward, upward, downward, upward, downward, upward, one web in front of you, boom, you're flying. And then, like I said, just wait for the right time to shoot your web so that you're not, uh, not just shooting it for nothing, like this. Like, shooting webs like that does nothing. You wanna shoot it like now. You wanna really get that flow going. Cause a lot of people say that this game is hard to learn. And I kind of agree, it didn't take me too long to kinda catch on. You really just need a feel of how the physics in this game work. Um, there's really not much I can teach other than you know, how to get started, when not to shoot your webs, when to shoot your webs. If you're looking for a tutorial where I show you exactly how to swing, I don't think those really can exist for this game because it's really hard to teach, honestly. You really just kind of have to have a feel for it, you know? You're falling, boom, pull upwards, and then, I don't know, it's, it's really just about experience. The longer you play, the more you accustomed you'll be to the physics. Um, oh, and another thing, you can do this. So you can kind of have like a little stretchy web going. That's, I thought that was pretty cool. But um, a lot of people ask me if I use like the thumbsticks to, uh, you know, either turn or move. I only really use um, the movement stick sometimes if I'm like about to fly into a building like like see right here I'll use the thumbstick to get out of the way but I do not use the thumbstick to completely guide where I'm going it's a lot of it's a, a problem a lot of people have you gotta 
you gotta learn how to swing where you want without using the thumbstick. Only use it for minor adjustments for the smoothest swinging. And another thing I wanted to talk about was, oh yeah, if you haven't noticed, if you go on top of this building right next to this one, there's a secret suit right here, so that's, that's good to know. Um, but another thing I wanted to mention was, you'll have kind of two types of swings in this. You'll kind of have like a web zip, and you'll have your more authentic swing. A more authentic swing will look something like this, where you're swinging for a lot longer. You're letting it kind of just, yeah, that was a swing. But a web zip is something like this. You know, you use it to make turns. Bam. 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 And that's how you really start getting speed. But I kind of like to do a mix of both. Like a little swing here. Web zip to change positions. Little swing, big swing, and now I'm flying. It's it's really just all about user experience. I'm trying to do as best I can of explaining how I do it, but it really is kind of hard. It's literally more of a a physical feeling you have to learn. Kind of like you gotta be aware of your surroundings. You gotta have a good sense of where you are, where you're gonna be. You know. Um, another thing people don't, um, don't really know is if you're on a building and you're trying to climb it super fast, wherever you look and you press the jump button, that is where you will go. So if I'm looking up and I jump, I'm going like halfway up the building. If say, um, I actually like to do this thing a lot where, uh, I jump from building to building um, over here, it's actually kind of fun. So I'll get onto a building right here, and then I'll kind of jump, yoink, jump. I don't know, I, I, th I find this really fun for some reason. Um, but yeah, wherever you look and you jump, that's where you'll go. That's another little tip I wanted to tell you guys about. But there really is no exact way to how you swing in this game. A lot of people swing with different styles. The main thing that I always try to tell people is it's, it really just takes time to get used to, you know, the feel of it, because I was never taught how to swing, I just kind of started and kind of started feeling out how the webs work, you know, the webs are very bouncy and stretchy, so you can take that knowledge and do what you will with it, they're not just, you know, straight lines that don't move, so the more force you pull down with, the stronger it'll be, so... A lot of people don't know that they just think if you pull down it'll have the same force no because like if you just want to get onto this building you want to web zip and you pull a little bit you won't go that far if you pull down fast though you can get all the way on top and you know start climbing but yeah it's really all just about user experience um, I'm sure the more you guys practice the better y'all get at it um, like I said there's not really an exact way for me to teach you it's it's all about experience and taking what I said earlier in the video in mind. And I'm sure you, you'll get the hang of it. It's really it's really not that hard. A lot of people think it's super hard and they give up. No, just keep trying. You'll start figuring things out. That's about it. Um, I guess for now I'll just do a little bit more swinging before I end the video. So um, enjoy. the lag it's crazy
that's enough swinging. My world's about to crash anyway. Um, I really hope you guys found this, uh, this little tutorial video helpful. I know it, it still will take time to figure out, so don't think, you know, you're gonna have it on your first day, because it took me a little while, but I hope you guys find this helpful. Just, uh, keep practicing, and, uh, see y'all in the next one. Peace.